more injuries, more activity on the waiver wire. Hi, and welcome to Fantasy Move Makers, presented to you by Levitra here on CBSSports.com. I'm Amber Wilson. As is almost always the case in fantasy, when one closer goes down, a big run on his replacement follows. With saves at a premium, the theory proved to be true once again when Seattle's J.J. Poots went to the disabled list with a tender throwing elbow. Despite having just one career save under his belt, Brandon Morrow, dubbed a poor man's Jamba Chamberlain, was the most added player in CBSSports.com leagues this week with an increase of 46 points. The 23-year-old righty hasn't allowed an earned run in his last 12 appearances and has yielded just four runs overall all season. Morrow has been labeled as a future closer, and with a dominant fastball that's helped him strike out 28 batters in 19 innings, his potential is evident. Poots, on the other hand, sat out 18 games earlier this season with a ribcage injury, and he's also been bothered by knee and finger ailments, with his value declining because of an ERA over five and three blown saves already this season. Plenty of owners just couldn't find a place to stash Poots while he recovers. His stock fell 29 points, topping the list of our most dropped pitchers in CBS leagues. He is joined there by fellow injured stopper Rafael Soriano and new Class A arrival Dontrell Willis. Chen Ming Wong owners took a huge hit when it was learned his foot injury may keep him out until September. As for Homer Bailey, the prize prospect was knocked around again on Sunday and he may be headed back to the minors. In three starts since his call-up, the youngster is 0-3 with an ERA approaching 9. Couple that with a poor strikeout-to-walk ratio and six homers against in his 12 innings of work. Sounds like bus trips might once again be in his future. Staying with closers, Tampa Bay's Troy Percival was one of the most added pitchers this past week after notching two saves since his return from the DL. Braves rookie Charlie Morton was a featured pickup after he picked up a win over the Angels in his big league debut on Saturday. Armando Galarraga continued his ascent with a seven shutout innings against the Dodgers his last time out, but we're going to focus on his resurgent teammate. After a sluggish beginning, Kenny Rogers has gone seven innings in five straight starts without allowing more than two runs, and he was finally rewarded with a W. The gambler sure seems to have right of the ship, surrendering only four runs during the span to compile an ERA of one. That'll do it for our look at hurlers, but when we come back, we'll dip into the free agent pool to check out some hitters. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Move Makers. Last week, it was David Ortiz, and this past week, more big names were ravaged by the injury bug. And if you're unfortunate enough to own one in a non-reserve league, you're probably forced into making some tough choices. Alfonso Soriano, Albert Pujols, and Victor Martinez will all miss extended periods of time due to injuries suffered in the last week. The original prognosis for Soriano after a pitch broke his hand was four to six weeks, but he's already talking about returning before the All-Star break. Pujols strained his calf and should be back by the break as well, while Martinez is expected to be out until August after getting his elbow cleaned out. Sean Figgins finally returned from his gimpy hamstring and was the most added hitter of the week. He was followed by Padres prospect Chase Headley, who was 2-4 for four in his 2008 debut Tuesday night, jumping 20 points in Detroit's Marcus Timms as a result of his incredible power surge. Up until Tuesday night, Timms' previous seven hits were all long goals, and why he couldn't keep that string going in San Francisco, he kept another one alive with a 450-foot blast over the center field fence, his fifth straight game with a homer. Tims now has seven dingers and 11 ribbies in his last seven games, yet is still owned in just 30% of all CBS leagues. As for the other 70%, there will be surely a run on Tims in several of them, so you may want to join the fray and strike while the iron is hot. Shortstop Mike Aviles, the Royals minor league player of the year in 2007, has been seeing the ball well since his call-up. He went yard for the third time in five games Tuesday night, so keep an eye on him as he may emerge into a viable fantasy option for the time being. And finally, Victor Martinez's replacement, Kelly Shopik, rounds out the list. And while the understudy doesn't have near the talent as the starter, he has been producing just as well, actually, if not better. Shopik has three round trippers since June 9th, and that's three more than Martinez has all season long. And that'll do it for me for now. Keep your mouse right here at CBSSports.com for everything you need to know in the world of sports. And if you miss anything here today, stop, refresh, and rewatch. Shine the world for having